One thing that you're always aware of when you're here is that South Korea is a very crowded country. It's about the size of Indiana, so it's small. It's also mountainous. It's jammed with 50 million people. There's actually very little room to play golf, which is why it's so amazing that South Korea is producing more female golf champions than any place on Earth. The numbers don't lie. Of the top 10 female golfers in the world, four are from South Korea, as are nearly 40 of the top 100. And over the last five years, an astonishing 32 LPGA tournament winners have been Korean. Yet as overwhelming as the success has been, the numbers tell only part of the story. Their self-determination, their discipline, is just different from like anywhere in the world. Raised in South Korea, Doug Ko has played and taught in the United States. He now runs an elite golf academy in the outskirts of Seoul. Because land is at such a premium, Ko's training facility, like all of the others we saw in South Korea, is basically vertical. What we also saw wherever we went was this. Hundreds, perhaps thousands, highly focused teenage girls hitting a seemingly endless number of golf balls constantly honing textbook swings at practice ranges by hitting ball after ball after ball. In a typical day, how many hours will they be hitting balls? They're actually about five to six hours. Wow, and that's a lot of golf balls. They are here for almost eight to nine hours. In the morning time, typically, I make sure they work on their short game at least three to four hours, and then they need to work on uh, putting also, and also mental game, they have to work out also. So it's just really full-time full schedule. It's basically a job. Right, it's a job. And that's how they look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The devotion to the goal is so complete in South Korea that they have a name for it. Roughly translate, families of these young players are said to be all in, which means a total commitment from the child and as much as $10,000 a month from the parents to pay for it. 